for people who had been in this country for generations. And as Tonight has been very special because the, the great Edwidge Dante Cat here to Florida Memorial University, and it's very special because we have a significant population of students from here. I feel like it's important for me to be here to share my story with members of the community, especially in this very um, important month of Black History Month. But this is also a way of acknowledging the people who came before us, which we should um, constantly do. Tell my daughter for me that les moun vivant moun vivant, mais les moun mouri moun mouri. When one is alive, one is alive, but when one is dead, one is dead. Edwidge Danticat is one of the most phenomenal writers ever. Um, we teach her work in several of our courses here in the English 101 class, 102 classes. I teach her work in post-colonial literature and Caribbean women's literature. Um, and to me, for our students, especially so many of our students who are Haitian descent, she gives an understanding of culture that very few people have an opportunity to experience. Your father sent you this, said the old woman, so that you might believe that I saw him and accept what he says. I enjoyed it so much. It, I really got clarification on a lot of things because I'm a writer. She's very smart and clarified a lot of things for me as in the business of writing. I love Edward Johnson. I've known of her for a while now because she, because she's always coming to our summer program. She's called Health, Health Haitian Empowerment Literacy Program. And she's always there. She donates books. She comes and she speaks to students. Have like little discussions like this with the kids, and it's always great. So, for people who had been in this country for generations, and as they were coming from the North to the South, they were called refugees, they were called immigrants, just as we saw in Katrina. You know, during Katrina, where people were labeled refugees, they would see these refugees. So, I think um, we have to be very careful about language because it can easily remove people's citizenship.